It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? Today, we have the Dread Mirror White. That's right. This puppy in a D&D game, if it touches you, it will drain levels from you. So, yeah. Fuck you, White. Anyway, so this is made by Reaper's Reaper Bones Black. Well, it's the Reaper Bones Black line from Reaper Miniatures, based out of Texas. Um, I paid $3.99 for this at my local game shop. That was nice enough to have it in stock for me. No special order needed. I picked this up at Red Castle Games in Portland, Oregon. Thank you, Red Castle, for always having what I need when I need it. Um... And charge me full price because I totally don't get any sort of discounts from anybody. So we have that. So without further ado, let's open up this leprous fellow and see what is inside. Throw that over there. And we have a rather detailed... Like, kind of looks like a skeleton, really. I mean... The whites usually have kind of those afro kind of things, you know, and, you know, but this one, he's kind of got the receding hairline and rocking a beard. That's cool. I like the miniature, I like the miniature coffin right there hanging from his belt. And it looks like he's got maybe like a tankard because it's flat on one end and it looks like there's a cap on the other. So it looks like it's like a beer stein hanging from his belt. And if I'm going to go on an adventure and, you know, canteens aren't really available and wineskins are fucking nasty, I would probably carry around what he's carrying around. Except, of course, he's fucking dead and probably doesn't need a drink. So there's that. Anyway, so he's got the weird toes. I can appreciate that. The, the weird toes. Look at those. I mean, you have any idea how hard toes are to sculpt? I mean, if you really want to get down to think about it. So how easy it would be just to put it in boots and call it good. But, no, not B. Jackson. No, he went ahead and he sculpted the toes on these because, you know, he's a fucking boss like that. So, thank you, Mr. Jackson, for sculpting toes on this thing to make it look like he's actually doing, like, the Warner Brothers fucking toe wiggle walk across the room like you see Bugs Bunny do when they're sneaking around each other and Elmer Fudd's trying to blow his ass off in hunting season. So, we have that. Anyway, I like this miniature. I like it a lot. I like it so much I'm probably going to paint it soon and probably make another video that somebody is going to watch of me having it painted. And I'll probably mention the toes again, but that's okay. We're going to put you down right there. You fit really good on a one inch by one inch base with a little bit of overhang. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. You know, so um, I have to find like some sort of base that would handle it. I mean, even some of the two inch round bases or the one inch round bases would be a little kind of annoying um, to try to put them on. So not sure how I'm gonna make that work. Might put them on a one inch round wafer thin base and just put a bunch of uh, fill on it. Um, I have this weird stuff that kind of fills in and uh, acts like glue and mud and filler at the same time. Here I have the Shadow Elf. Pre-painted. Circa, what, 2005? No, 2004. Circa 2004 Wizards of the Coast. Deep Shadow Elf from their pre-painted line. I need to give it a paint job. What color should I paint it? I want it in the comments below. I mentioned it earlier, but no, uh, yeah, I wanted, uh, I'm stumped on color. So uh, let me know what color you think I should paint that. And uh, we'll put a custom paint job on it. Because, buddy, if you're in as many videos of mine as I have, you need a custom paint job. That's just all the way there is to it. And here is what I have as far as size comparison between the two. So, as you can see, this is pretty well like big stocky kind of man sized. You know, this is supposed to be kind of a frail elf, but he's a bit on the tall side. So, there you go. With the black eyes, that's kind of creepy as shit. That's straight up some, you know, some uh, Clyde Barker shit going on right there. You know, maybe put some little pins hanging out of his uh, face. And uh, or nails hanging out of his face, takes off the hood, bam, Cinnabite time, you know, because it's fucking October and we get spooky like that. So here is what we got here with the backdrop of my made, uh, my modular kind of dungeon terrain that I made. 
Um, I used it with Hertz Arts molds. Um, if you're interested in any of this stuff right here, all it is is just plaster that I poured into silicone molds that I picked up from HerstArts.com. H I R S T A R T S dot com. Um, the, you know, and uh, the molds were kind of expensive. They're probably about 30, 35 bucks each. You know, however, the, um, you know, plaster putting plaster uh you know buying the plaster is cheapest in so it's you know and then after that it's all time just pouring in the plaster getting pissed off at the air bubbles and uh then gluing it down to shit hoping it doesn't warp and then paint it so there we go for that at this point in time i'd like to thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up it would help my bruised ego uh, if you didn't like it, you can always give it a thumbs down too. There's always one person that goes down all my videos and dislikes it. That's all right. It's probably my ex-wife. And if you would like to be alerted if I open up crap like this in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe tab. I'm in the long upward trek to a thousand subscribers. And you, yes, you, sitting behind your mobile device or computer, staring at these two ministers ahead of you, you could be a solution to that. You could subscribe. Thank you for your time and happy gaming.